Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the book of Psalm, Psalm 34, verse 8, and I will read it. O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Here we have a word from David encouraging us that we can put our trust, our confidence in the Lord. Notice that it says, O taste and see that he is good. That is, that we would run to him, that we would take refuge in him. And we can do that because we know uh, of the attributes of God that David points out here. How God is a provider, how God is a deliverer, how God is a protector. And listen to the verses that come before it with no further explanation than the verses themselves. How they declare the goodness of Almighty God. Listen to what David says, beginning at verse 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. They looked to him and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed. The poor man cried out and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who put his trust in the Lord. You know, David knew something about putting his trust and confidence in the Lord because God delivered him from many of enemies along the way. And here in this particular song is when David was playing the madman in the presence of Abimelech. Uh, he was in the enemy's camp. And you know, when you're in an enemy's camp, sometimes you got to pretend to be like folk that you're not. And so that's what David did in order to escape. But he realized that God was watching over him, that God kept him uh, as he kept him when he was a youth, as he was a shepherd boy, kept him from the paw of the lion and the bear. He kept him from his enemy, Saul and others that pursued his life. God is a protector. God is a deliverer. God is a provider. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse that it would be a word of encouragement to you today and be safe as you go throughout your day and then tune in again tomorrow as we consider today's verse. Amen.